I'm recreating Lily Collins look from the Golden Globes this year. Her look was my absolute favorite. I thought she looked amazing, just like a princess. Love the bold lip, the messy bun hairstyle with some fishtail detailing. And the fishtail detailing I find is a little bit hard to see, just like right now, but with flash photography it does pick up a little bit better, as you can see on screen. But if you guys like this look, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I am wearing like a huge ball gown right now, I'm not actually going anywhere, I just happen to have this like massive dress that I've never worn. So I thought might as well get in the spirit of the Golden Globes, but I will have linked down below some dresses more similar to Lily if you're looking for something for prom, and let's get into the tutorial. Starting out with a bare face, you can go in with a photo ready finish primer. I decided to use the MAC strobing cream because I love this stuff and my skin was a little bit dull and uh, just dry because I was sick for a week so I thought this would add some life to it. I love my strobing cream and for foundation I've been doing this combo for a while now but I really like the Rimmel Stay Matte and then I add in some of my Body Shop lightning drops and I'll mix this on the back of my hand and apply with a beauty sponge all over the face. I also am taking this foundation down my neck and also a little bit even on my shoulders to cancel out some redness so I get that really porcelain skin look like Lily. If you need any extra brightening or concealing, go ahead and use a concealer. I'm just using some underneath my eyes and around my nose to conceal some redness and darkness. And with a fluffy brush, just set the foundation with a translucent powder. And instead of going in with bronzer because the skin is so fair for this look, I'm just adding another illuminating powder uh, in a tiny bit of a deeper shade to add some dimension to the face, but this is super subtle. So I'm just going in the three motion like I would with bronzer uh, on my forehead, underneath the cheekbones, and under my jawline. For contour, we're going super subtle. I'm using the CoverGirl True Blend Contour Palette and I really like this middle shade. It's great to contour with. So I'm taking it on a small stippling brush and I'm applying this really lightly just underneath the bottom of my cheekbone and kind of right below the apples of my cheeks in more of a rounded shape. And usually I wouldn't use a cream product over powder, but because all the layers that I've applied are fairly light, it really doesn't move anything around and it looks really nice. Then also gives a bit more of a natural skin-like texture rather than just the super matte powder. Here I'm just contouring my nose with the same palette. I'm gonna make my nose appear a little bit taller and thinner, but you don't have to do this. I always say this, you don't wanna be changing the shape of your face like crazy. I just kinda do it for fun with these celebrity recreations. But if you do wanna slim down your nose a bit, then start it with a contour shade and map out how you wanna do it. I like to take it from in between my eyebrows all the way downwards, making my bridge appear smaller. And once I have blended out the contour, go in with a highlight. I, I really like to use a powder for this and apply it beside the contour so instead of dragging the contour downwards, that would show kind of your own bone structure and the width. When you bring a highlight, it'll create more of an illusion of a smaller nose. I like to go in with a highlight that has a bit more sheen to it on the tip of the nose and the bridge to catch the light. And now for blush, this is one of my favorite blushes from MAC, Peony Petal. I'm taking it on the apples of my cheeks really lightly and blending upwards. Now for Lily's famous brows, I'm going in with Annabelle Skinny Brow Liner. I love this, it's really easy to use, especially when you're mapping out some extra hairs. So I like to take my brows closer in by following the new nose shape that we created and creating some hairs going upwards and then overlining the top of my brow, making sure that it's fairly straight and then has a small arch at the end. I'm also making sure to underline the bottom of my brow a little bit heavier and then I'm filling in. And once I have this shape done, I'm going back in with a powder and I'm going to make sure that there's no sparse areas and just fade them in, do the other brow, and there you have some lily brows. So the brows look a bit more believable. I'm taking a matte ashy brown shade for contour and I'm applying this right underneath the brow, fading back into the nose contour. 
Lily's makeup artist did a really cool trick for the Golden Globes where a lip liner was actually used on the eye. It was a Lancome product, but I just went in with Posy Perfect from MAC that I had and I'm applying this to the inner portion of the lid and the outer portion and I'm going to blend this in with my finger as, as like a pretty base, pretty rosy base for the look. And I'm also bringing this lip liner underneath the bottom lash line. If you choose to do this trick, make sure you do have a really creamy lip pencil or else it'll just not be fun for your eye, but this one for MAC is perfect. With the blush we already used, I'm bringing this into the inner crease and this will add just again a really soft layer of pink. Too much pinky shades can make the eyes look irritated, so adding a warm medium tone brown to the outer crease in a soft rounded V shape adds dimension and elongates the eyes. And I also added some nudie shadow, this has more of a cool tone to it. To neutralize the shadows a bit, this was just popped in to the very outer V again and take a bright highlight shade for the brow bone and inner corner and blend away for a soft, barely there eye look. To make sure the lashes pop with mascara and your lash line looks more full than normal, take a matte brown on the upper lash line focused in the center and also run this along the base of the bottom lashes. Almost done with the eyes, go in and add a brightening eyeliner pencil to the waterline. This one was actually a highlight pencil for the brow bone and I just didn't even read it. So maybe not use this one, but it still works. And then just curl your lashes and apply mascara. I really love this one by Tease for like a natural um, eyelash look and it worked really well. It is more of a brown shade, so it's not as bold as a black mascara. And once that's complete, go in with a couple individuals if you want to. I kind of wish I didn't even go in with individuals because I think the look is complete on its own without any. But if you want to add two or three to the outer corner for a more fluttery effect, then that looks really nice. And now for a bold red lip. You can go in with a lip liner and map out the shape. I just jumped right into it with MAC's Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in Chateau M, and this is such a pretty bright red. It goes on a bit glossy, but then it dries matte, and I should have <laughs> mapped it out originally because I did have to redo my upper lip, but that's fine. It's a beautiful color, and I get so many compliments when I wear this lip shade. Definitely recommend it. And then over top to add a little more depth, I'm using Maybelline's Raging Raisin. This is also matte, and I'm just patting this along the outer corners of the lips. Fishtail Accented Bun, start with brushed out hair and bring your hair into a high ponytail. The hair flowing into the pony should look soft and a bit undone, also have a slight off-centered part in the front. I took two bobby pins and I crossed them in an X at the back of the elastic for a perky high pony. This is super cute on its own, and by the way, just got a haircut, it's a bit shorter with layers now, but anyways, pop in a large bun maker through the pony. You can find these bun makers at Forever 21, Claire's, drugstores, they make this style super easy. Pick up a section, curl towards you, and just pin to the side of the bun maker. Pick up a section beside and just lay the hair over the bun, adding in bobby pins to hold in place. With the loose end, I just added a cute little detail by pinning it upwards into the bun in a loop shape. Again, do another curl and pin. It doesn't have to look perfect, just make sure that you're covering the bun maker and you have some not so perfect loops and curl texture. If you need more of an irregular texture to the hair, once you're done, just take some bobby pins and spread parts of the bun around. For the braided detailing, I left out a section at the back of the bun and create a normal braid or a fishtail braid and pin around the front and then over back into the center of the bun hole. You can do a normal braid like I said, but she did have two fishtail braids. I just chose to show you kind of like the difference between them. And for the second more dramatic braid, pop in a one clip extension 
at the back of the bun, and then of course, fishtail. If you don't know how to do this braid, I will have a tutorial linked down below for a simple fishtail, but again, you could totally do a normal braid and it'll look really pretty. For a more dramatic braid, you want to spread out the fishtail so that it has a wider uh, standout look to it. And if you want more body to it, I kind of wish I did this actually, you can use two clip-ins or like a two clip extension because that will definitely give you more hair to work with. And then just pin the side of the braid a bit upwards onto the bun you've already created so it's a bit more visible. And then curl some baby hairs in front, add some hairspray, and there's the complete Lily inspired bun. You're gonna get something a little different every time just because it is more of a messy look to it, but I think this is a pretty foolproof hairstyle. On the side where I did the regular braid, it looks softer and more princess-like, and then the fishtail side has a bit more texture. So she had both fishtail braids, but it's up to you. I kind of like the mix of both braids. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this Lily look, and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more beauty videos every week. If you have any requests, you can let me know in the comments. I have a really fun videos coming up, so I'm very excited about it. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss them. And uh, all my links are down below. Oh, <laughs> and I will see you guys next time.